Hello, welcome to the video. I'm going to be taking a look at Horizon Forbidden West on my 4080 Super. I'm going to be doing it out of 4K so you can see we've got that resolution set here. Um, upscaling and frame generation, I'm going to have them both switched off at first, but we will check them out with them on in a little bit. Uh, and then graphics wise, going to play with everything maxed out. So I'll run through the settings really quickly. Some of the settings go to high, some go to very high as you can see. But I think we've mostly got everything maxed out, so let's have a look. But we're sitting at about 70 FPS. On average of exactly 70 at the moment. That frame time is looking a little bit choppy, isn't it? Let's just go straight out and attack it. Probably not the best idea, but... Damn, bro. So getting it dipped down to 65 there a little bit. 64 I'm seeing, but mostly holding above. I haven't got any ammo. Mostly holding above 60 FPS. Did he get him? No. Sitting at about just over 11 gigs of VRAM here as well, so not too bad. It's fairly similar for that. Obviously, power is lower on this. Sitting roughly under 300 watts. Just going over it a little bit, but not too bad. So going out into the open a little bit more here. Seeing the FPS drop a little bit into the 60s, but still roughly holding that 70 FPS. We just jump down. Oh, damn. I do have a new weapon. What does this do? Oh, nice. So we're getting it dropped down a little bit closer to 60 here in this water as well. I wonder if we get any dips under 60. It's getting very close. 62. Seems to just about stay above. Uh, but yeah, I'm noticing this. Uh, the frame time is looking a little bit choppy, isn't it? Did notice that when we had frame generation on last time. I'm not noticing any stuttering or anything in the game though. I think if you weren't measuring that frame time, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. It's a 52.1% low. It's not too far off where we're actually at. Definitely seen a lot worse like before. But overall, I think it feels feels pretty good at 4K here. Staying above 60. No dips below 60 yet. I'm now going to take a look with DLSS upscaling and frame generation on. So you can see here I've got upscaling set to quality and I've got frame generation on here. And that's giving us quite the FPS boost here, as you'd expect. Looking at, what did we have? We had about 70, so you're looking at about a 40 to 50 FPS increase here. Sitting at just over 110. Which is pretty good. Have a little run around. I'm straight away noticing the frame time does look better. It looks a little bit less choppy than it did when we was playing at native but it is still getting a, the occasional spike you saw on there so 0.1 percent low of 63 is still dropping down quite a bit there so obviously increased our vram a little bit as well 12 and a half gig almost now power's down though 270 watts so that's down maybe 20 30 watts so a little bit easier on that i think graphics wise it still looks quite it still looks pretty good I think you can notice a slight difference setting DLSS upscaling to quality, but it's most people are not really going to notice, I don't think. Dropping down a little bit in the combat here. Down to about 100 FPS, so... I have noticed combat in this game does seem to drop your FPS a little bit. As you'd often expect in, you know, a lot of games, it does do that. But it still feels pretty nice. I'm not noticing any image issues either with having DLSS and frame generation on those. Sometimes frame generation can cause the odd issue. I'm not seeing any problems. Upscaling as well. I'm not seeing any ghosting or anything like that. I'm going to take a look with DLSS upscaling switched off, so you can see that here, but I'm going to keep frame generation on. Seems like we're getting 90 to 100, so that's still a good 20 to 30 FPS more than what you'd have at native. 
And then it looks like DLSS upscaling at quality at least gives you like another 20 FPS on top of that. So I'll have a little run around here. GPU usage 99% still, which is good. Sometimes you see that fluctuating a little bit of frame generation. But it looks good to me. No issues there. In the combat there, it does drop under 100. Can't quite hold 100 overall. I've got two things on me. I hear another one. Oh, hell, it is. Was that a snake? I don't get it. Even some dips down closer to 90 FPS there. Uh, but this obviously gives you... A boost in FPS, and it doesn't affect your image quality so much because we don't have the upscaling on. I'm now going to take a look with DLSS upscaling set to quality, but we've got frame generation off. Uh, seems like we're getting pretty much the same FPS here as what we had with just frame generation on and DLSS upscaling off. We had about 90 to 100. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. I did not realise there was one behind me. Gonna get dipped down a little bit. I mean, most of the time we're sitting about 100 FPS here. Getting some dips to 90. Oh, that was a great shot. Dude, I'm taking all kind of damage here. I'm still at 4K, but I'm going to take a look with DLAA on. So most of the times with DLAA on, you'll notice a, a drop in FPS a little bit. It's only normally a couple of FPS. Not a huge difference, but... I personally, I've said it before, I think, in previous videos. I don't think there's really a massive difference at 4K. By using it, personally, I, I think you benefit mostly from... It at 1080p and 1440p. Oh, hell no. Nah. That was close. Look at that. There's a long way down. On to the next. Overall, I'm pretty impressed by the 4080 Super Performance so far. Uh, I will do another video where I have a look at 1440p as well, so have a look out for that. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the game and the performance, and I'll catch you next time.